AutoCAD, you can work in isometric planes and you can create isometric drawings. Such objects will not be 3D models, but 2D projections of 3D models. The main advantage of using this procedure is that you don't have to learn AutoCAD 3D to create 3D isometric views. I will demonstrate it by creating the isometric view of this particular mechanical component. To start with, you have to activate the isometric draft mode. For that, just click on the customization button and make sure that the isometric drafting is on. Once you activate it, you will see the isometric drafting button appearing at the status bar toggles and you can just click to activate the isometric drafting mode. The same thing can also be accomplished by giving the ISO draft command and give an enter. And here you will see the option to switch various planes such as isoplane left, isoplane top, etc. I'll click on isoplane left to switch over to the left isoplane and I'll repeat the ISO draft command and click on orthographic to come back to the default orthographic mode. Even if we have two options to control the ISO draft mode, controlling it using the status bar toggle is more preferred. So I'll activate the ISO draft mode in the status bar. When you look at this figure, you can see that there are various objects in different planes. And this is the left plane, and this is a right plane, and this is a top plane. So I'll start my work on the left plane. I'll click on the ISO draft pop-up, then I'll activate the ISO plane left by clicking, then I'll start creating a line. From this point, I'll activate the ortho mode on, then I'll give a distance of 20. Then I'll keep my cursor rightward and I'll type 15. Then 20 upwards. Then I'll come back to this point and give an enter. Next, I'll create this particular phase for which I should change the ISO plane to right. Then I'll click on line again. I'll start from here. I'll give a distance of 10. Keep the cursor straight down and I'll type 20. Then I'll come back to this point and give an enter. Next, I'll change the plane to left. I'll repeat line again from here, 30 units, rightward. Then straight down, 20. Then I'll come back to this point and give an enter. Next, I'll copy this face onto this location. So I'll click on copy command, select this face. This is a base point and this is a second point. Then I repeat copy. I'll select this face. This is the base point and this is the second point. This portion we will trim off later. Next, I'll switch the ISO plane to top because I want to work on this plane. So I'll click on the ISO draft icon and click on ISO plane top. I'll continue with the line command from this point, 38 units in this direction. Then I'll copy the same line from here to here. Next, I'll connect these two endpoints with another line. Copy the same line downwards. Then I'll connect these two endpoints with another line. For that, you don't have to change the plane because you are snapping from one endpoint to another. Next, I'll draw this particular circle. For that, you can make use of the ISO circle option of the ellipse command. So I'll click on ellipse command. I'll choose access endpoint option. Here I have an ISO circle option. You will see this option only if the ISO draft mode is active. I'll pick this midpoint as the center point of the circle and the radius of the first circle is 30. I repeat the ellipse command again. Click on ISO circles and I'll choose the same center point and I'll give the radius of 15. Give enter. Next, I'll trim off unwanted portions using the trim command. So click on trim, give enter, trim off these portions of the circle as well as these lines and this line as well as this line can be erased. Next, I'll copy this line onto this location. I'll select this line. This is the base point 
and I'll hold down the shift key and the right button of the mouse and choose quadrant option and pick the quadrant point of this arc. Next I'll copy this arc with this as the base point and this as the second point. Then I'll trim off the unwanted portion of the arc and erase this small segment as well as this line. So this is the procedure to create an isometric drawing by enabling the isodraft mode in AutoCAD. Hope this tutorial has given you some insights on this concept. Until we meet again with another informative tutorial on CAD, bye bye and take care. Thank you so much for your time. Please don't forget to subscribe to my channel Sabir CAD and hit the like button of this video.